Okay, 12.2 combinations and the binomial theorem. So let's take a look at some examples of these, right? Let's take a look at some examples of these. And the first item up is dealing with um, what combinations actually are. So let's take a look here and see what combinations actually are. And here's the formula for that. That's n factorial over n minus r factorial, r factorial. A little different. Pretty close to the permutation formula, but just a little bit different. So there's your n and there's your r. So according to this formula, it's 9 factorial over 9 minus 6 factorial, 6 factorial, which is 9 factorial over 3 factorial, 6 factorial. So when we're typing this in, um, what I would do is I would go 9 times 8 times 7 times, and I would stop at 6 factorial. The reason being is there's a 6 factorial on the bottom that will cancel out, right? I'm going to rewrite this 3 factorial as 3 times 2 times 1. Well, these cancel out, meaning this is all I have left. Well, 9 and 3, right, they're divisible by each other, so really all I have left is a 3 there. 8 and 2 are divisible by each other. I get rid of that and that simplifies to a 4. And a 1 on the bottom is not necessary, right? Anything over 1 is just what's on top. So really what I'm saying is you have 3 times 4 times that 7 down there. So that's really all you have to type in, which is like saying 12 times 7, and 12 times 7 is 84. So your answer to that problem is 84. Taking a look at the next one, um, remember it's n and it's r, so it's 8 factorial over 8 minus 4 factorial, 4 factorial. So that's like saying 8 factorial over 4 factorial, 4 factorial. So I end up with 8 times 7 times 6 times 5 times 4 factorial over, well, one of the 4 factorials will cancel out, so I'll write out the other one as 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. So those cancel out. 4 and 2, what's 4 times 2, right? 4 times 2 is 8, so I can cross the 8 out. I have a 1 on the bottom, which doesn't matter, and this 3 I can divide by the 6, so really I just have a 2. So really what I'm saying is I have 7 times 2 times 5 is what I'm asking you to multiply, and when you multiply all those you end up getting 70 as your answer. And 6, uh, 1, that's an n, that's r, so it's like saying 6 factorial over 6 minus 1 factorial, 1 factorial. So we really get 6 factorial over 5 factorial, 1 factorial. And that's like saying 6 times 5 factorial because we go down to the highest factorial we have, which is a 5 factorial. And 1 factorial is just 1. So really, these cancel. And all I have is 6 over 1, which is 6. So your answer to that problem is just 6. So taking a look at this one, it says you own 9 cassettes and are taking 4 of them on vacation. How many different ways can you choose 4 cassettes from the 9? N, C, or sorry, 9C4 is basically what that's saying. So we have 9 factorial over 9 minus 4 factorial, 4 factorial, which is 9 factorial over 5 factorial 4 factorial. So when I write it down, 9 times 8 times 7 times 6 times 5 factorial, I do that because 5 is the highest factorial and I can get it to cancel out. And I have 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. So the 5's cancel out. 4 times 2 is 8. So that's gone. And I can take a 3 out of that and get 2. So really I have 9 times 7 times 2. And that's like saying 63 times 2, which is, what, 126. So 126 different ways you can do that. Um, you own 
with seven travel books and are taking four of them on vacation, how many ways can you choose four travel books from the seven? Well, seven C four. So seven factorial over seven minus four factorial and four factorial. So it's seven factorial over three factorial, four factorial, and you go as far down as the highest one. 7 times 6 times 5 times 4 factorial over, got that 4 factorial, and 3 I can write as 3 times 2 times 1. These cross out. 3 times 2 is 6, so that crosses out. We don't need the one on the bottom. This really says 7 times 5, which is 35 is the correct answer. 35. From a group of three boys, so you have three boys and eight girls. A boy and a girl will be selected to attend a conference. So one boy is chosen and one girl is chosen. How many different ways can you select it? Well, to select the boys, that's saying 3C1. To select the girls, that's like saying 8C1. Well, I'm giving you a little clue. Whenever you have a 1 as the second item, whatever the first item is is your answer is basically how that works. So if I gave you 3C1, the answer to this is 3. If I gave you 8C1, the answer to that is 8. If I gave you 10C1, the answer is 10. If I gave you 111C1, the answer is 111. That's the point I'm getting at here. Um, quickly so you can see the work, that's like saying 3 factorial over 3 minus 1 is 2 factorial, 1 factorial. Well, that's like saying 3 times 2 times 1 over 2 times 1 times 1. Well, 2 times 1, 2 times 1 cancels out, and looky, it's 3 over 1. So really what I'm saying is you have a 3 and an 8 as an answer. You take those two and you multiply them together. So 3 times 8 is 24. We have to do these separately because we're talking about two different things, boys and girls. Same idea over here. There are seven boys. There are four girls. A boy and a girl are chosen. So it's like saying 7C1, which is 7. This is like saying 4C1, which is 4. You multiply them together and you get 28 as your answer. 28 is your answer. Four person committee is chosen at random from a group of 15. So let's show you what we can do here. Now with these, it's like saying 15C4. Um, Here's how you plug that in on the calculator. On your screen, type in 15 on your calculator, then go to math. So go to math, press the arrow over until you get to PRB, and the third one down is this, NCR. So basically, press enter on that, and this is what will show up on your screen. That's what you have press enter on that. Then press the 4 right after it and press enter one more time and you end up with 1365 as your answer. That's how you do it using the calculator. So try it out here. The total is 52 cards. C3 because you're choosing three of them. So you would do 52. You would press math go over to PRB and go down to the third one which is NCR so it would look like this 52 NCR 3 and you end up getting 22 100 as your answer okay so if you have any further questions on combinations um, please email me or please let me know